So is that all we need to know? Uh, yeah, but now we have to Thank go. you. Probably now, be back later. Now Ryan? that we know that it's Salvia, we can go back to James. But we gotta talk to, what's his name about the Salvia, too? Yeah. We'd, we'd have to talk to everybody again, because we have a new clue. The dog keeps trying to put his face on the computer. <laughs> it's because I'm holding the computer and he's trying to cuddle with me. And the and computer is you? Yeah. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Can you imagine how annoying we're being to everybody in town? Let I know, right? Let me just come back every 15 minutes. Let me come back every 15 seconds because I found a new clue. Do you know what this is? Looks like uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more about these things than I do. Uh, messy things, <laughs> growing things. <laughs> he knows what it is. They use it for their weird shit. You know that they do. Mm -hmm. So then click on the salvia thing. Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? No. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant. A legal one. At least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need. As trite as that may sound. My Do you know any students job. who may have used hallucinogens? No. No, my students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides... No one is allowed drugs or alcohol onto the site. I don't think anyone has ever brought drugs to Atlas. Do you have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed insurance purposes. Um, then how come Kate... Oh, I guess it... oh so you're allowed to pre-game before you come to Atlas, but you can't bring the alcohol with, with yeah, you. Yeah, I think that's the... He's like, all right, if you guys are going to be drunk, uh, well, let me just uh, cross doing that with... Uh, Kate always being drunk at meetings, just to yeah. double check. Yeah. So you're allowed to drink beforehand. Come drink. Come drunk. Yeah, but don't no problem. bring it. Don't bring it. For insurance purposes, we can't. Uh, that's like, it for the time being. Actually, Thank you. We can't what? let you actually drink here for insurance purposes. However, we don't mind if you're wasted while you're here. Yeah, just pre-game off campus, and then. Uh, Get in here. Maybe she was just drunk and everyone was just not like, uh. uh a few know, more questions, if you don't mind. Out. Yeah, I mean, they said she was very argumentative when she was drunk. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, James? Was that skin cream? <sighs> it's not a skin cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. So you've never heard of salvia? But you grow herbs? No. He doesn't grow herbs, he grows herbs. Oh, sorry. Herbs. Herbs. It's different, Mari. Doesn't Duh. know much about plants, but he grows herbs. Okay, so where did he say he grows herbs? Go to the packet of dried leaves. Won some cookery competitions. But I remember him saying that he grow he trades. Herbs. Oh, the homebrew. Go to the homebrew. Where? Up. Uh, ah. Traded his herbal tea, and then doesn't know much about plants. There's something else. Ah. Let's see. Girlfriend. I mean, he grows plants. I've seen him do it. No. Let's uh, see what Thank the hint you. is, Probably because be I'm lazy. Later. Okay. We can, uh, we can maybe ask Simon? Yeah. Better try the woods again. Uh, okay. You want to do the woods or Simon yet, first? Let's do the woods, because maybe we'll find something else that we can, you know... Find someone else being Go weird. left into the woods! Oh, what's this? What? Another person just hanging out. Is this the spot where everyone just hangs out and just uh, uh, No, I'm a police inspector. Who are you looking for? I'm investigating a death in the village. That student, then. They did one last year, too. Same place. <gasps> Whoa! Told you! Did what? Cult. 
drowned a student. Ask that psycho about it. He runs that business cult thing up at the, the big house. Hell yeah! <sighs> Bunch of nut jobs. Oh, uh, hey, uh, what was the student's name? Liam something. Oh, sorry. Atlas's reputation precedes them. I think I might call the station, find out a bit more about this Liam. So one student is drowning a year and nobody's like... <laughs> Hello, DCI John speaking. Mike, uh, it's Jenks. All right, Jenks, I thought you'd clocked off tonight. Yeah, the Chief's put me on a case tonight, the Edenton girl. Friday night, you poor sod. I thought that was sorted out anyway. I wish it was. Listen, are you near a computer? Uh, I can't be. Yeah, go on. Do you know anything about a death last year? Someone called Liam in Edenton Village? Uh, I don't remember it. Hang on, let's have a look. Edenton Village. Uh, yeah, Liam Rogers. It's a suicide last year. Suicide? Hang on, two suicides in two years, both in Edenton. Well, I mean, you've got your work cut out, Jexy. Yeah, don't I know it. Right, well, good luck with that and see you Monday. Thanks, Mike. High five, it's a cult. Yes! It's a weird... So, well, at least it's not, like, about women. I thought the the whole, like, worshipping the goddess thing was going to be like, oh, we only kill girls, but I'm glad they kill girls and boys. Yes, equal opportunity cult. I feel... Everyone the, can I was, die. I was a little bit mad about it, but now I feel, like, less... I'm still mad that they're killing people, but I'm like, all oh, right, but you're not, like, weird about it. No, I'm actually really <laughs> happy about it. I'm only happy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, so we're not sacrificing virgin women. I like this. <laughs> I'm on board. So let's go back to see Simon and Emma. And be like, hey, you smoking drugs? You getting super high for 15 seconds at a time? A couple more questions, if that's okay. What do you know about a student called Liam who committed suicide last year? Um... Only that I didn't know him really well. You do? You always make that face when you're lying. Didn't know him very well. Go... Salvia, eh? Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. It's a drug, isn't it? Yeah. Hallucinogenic drug. <laughs> ever tried eyes. it? No. No, I've never taken any illegal substances. She just said it was... what? Yeah. She knows that it's hallucinogenic, but she has never taken any illegal substances. But she just said it was illegal. Hold on. Let me just... Let me, okay. Oh. She, she, she was like, oh, that's... Oh, maybe she said it was an illegal drug. Whatever. Didn't know him very well. So let's go visit Simon. Uh, that's all for the moment. And then Thank we'll you. go back and forth. So there might be some thing that she says later about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you know about Liam? Liam? Local lad. Took his mind. Oh, that Liam! Yeah, yeah, I heard about him. But you didn't know him? No, I... I know he went to college, but... Didn't really know him. It's sad, though. You don't... He doesn't seem very sad about, like... He's like, oh yeah, they, everybody keeps dying. Whatever. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Salvia Divinorum. Uh, no, magic mint. Same thing. Oh, yeah, you mean the drunk? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Yeah, I've tried it. Well, once or twice, yeah. But it's not really my sort of thing. It messes with your brain. I've never tried any other <laughs> drugs either. One, well, nothing like that. Nothing hallucinogenic. No, no, of course not. Nope. Definitely not. So, he's tried Salvia a few times, but thought that the packet of dried leaves was sage. Be back later on, if that's okay. You didn't want to check that out? Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Uh... Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. I was thinking in my head, because when I took Salvia, it was like in a powder form. Has tried Salvia a few times, but doesn't... Hasn't seen the leaves before. Yeah. What? the heck? Because it comes in like it looks different sometimes. Or maybe they're just like, whatever. Bleh. This could be sage. Mm. 
No. We're like really trying to nail Thank people you. on this drug Probably thing. Back later. We're like, I know you're doing drugs! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't affect you very much outside of the time that you do it, but it's you're doing them! You're doing drugs! <laughs> oh, check the mo Okay, we have to ask James, Rebecca, and Ryan about, okay. So we gotta check the woods again, and then, uh... Ask everybody about Liam. Yeah. Check the woods. Let's go to the weird spot. Nope. Nobody's at the weird spot. Alright, so then go left into... Oh. Yeah. Alright. Back to the junction. What's this now? They're carving you mind into not defacing tree. public property, please? What's it to you? Well, I'm a policeman. And that's supposed to make what difference exactly? Okay. It means that you do exactly what I tell you to do. Or what? Or you arrest me? Yes. No, I'll give you a fine this time. So, if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money? What happens if you do something that I don't like? You're going to give me some money? Look, oh my God. <laughs> I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Can you just go? Whoa. You're going to get... Pathetic. What is wow. wrong with this guy? <laughs> That's a very well-carved thing. Yeah. I think it's added in CG, otherwise they're gonna get in trouble or something. What a prize brat. But why would he carve that into a tree? Either he's a diehard rock fan, or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. Um, so he's gonna go around to everybody and be like, do you know what this means? And they're all gonna be like, yeah man, rock on! <laughs> or they're gonna go, how do you know about that? How do you that? know? How do you know? The cult of rock! <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate heavy metal. It's stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. I hate it. It's so dumb. And then you like open up the back, it's filled with like Metallica. <laughs> and you're like, what's this? <laughs> no! <laughs> this game is great. <laughs> Ooh, try the door to the right. I just want to see if we find anything. Nope. Nothing cool. A few more questions, please. Thank you. The three finger symbol. What does it mean? If I did this, would that mean anything to you? It's a devil sign, isn't it? Is that what you're getting at, Inspector? This is not something you use on the course. Of course it's not something we use on the course, Inspector. I don't even know what that could possibly mean exactly. So yes, you do, and it's... So he He's thinks like, the fingers... Actually, it's a symbol that... Remember when I was telling you about the spiker and stuff? Yeah. He's like, actually, it's one of those symbols they see, like, one in the pink and one in the stink. You know. You know how yeah. it is. <laughs> and he's like, no, that's not what... Oh, yeah, because you could do... Yeah, because you can yeah. the thumbs from the, the clit. clit. Yeah. Yeah. We both were just with, like... We're both <laughs> sitting here <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, this could work, Yeah. Is it the distances right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this looks about right. I yeah, think. you go like this. We're yeah. both, we're the both. I wish you guys could, like, yeah. We're both, like, thrusting our hands, being, like, imagining. Not at each other. Imagining, you weirdos. Uh, a vagina area. <laughs> Not being like, oh, yeah, okay. The, all the, all the distance matches up. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out. Yeah, it could be one of those signs. Okay, so go back, go back. Stacy here. got mad at me when. Uh, oh yeah. When I, when what? When I when I told you about the spocker and you're like, no, that wouldn't well, work in real life. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's made up by sixteen year olds who've never done it. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I'm like, no, that logistically it doesn't make sense. I think you were mad that I was like getting. I was like. Uh, Soiling the live long and prosper symbol. That too. You were like, no, they wouldn't do that. No. It's live long and prosper, not two in the pink, two in the stink. Uh. <laughs> what can you tell me about Liam? Oh, Liam. 
You mean the boy who committed very unfortunate sin? Did you know him? Oh, yes, yes. Well, why would I say know him? I met him in the pub. Seemed very happy sort of person. Well, I say he seemed happy. He can't have been, can he? <laughs> okay, so... I don't see a contradiction here. Wait! But, what? What? He says something about the pub. Norm, no, that was him meeting Kate. Sorry. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh, he just, like, he's like, oh, yeah, all these students committing suicide. So sad. When it's, like, a pretty small community. Wait, Liam was part of, wasn't he in the thing? In the meetings? Yeah. And he said he had met Liam at the club? Or? I don't know if Liam was part of the meetings. That other guy said, like, oh, they killed that kid. Oh, You know? Okay. Um... Well, let's go talk to Rebecca. Thank you. Yeah. We'll probably be back later. How much does James really know? Mm hmm Okay, so there's a million things we need to ask all these people now. Yeah. Let's go talk to James. Hey, James. Did you kill that guy? James, no. we know you've been sell you've been doing completely legal drugs. No, he's just being like really secretive. He strikes me as kind of like a stoner. Ask you a couple you more know. things, please. He strikes me as one of those nerds who's like uh, belongs to Anonymous and thinks they're they're really important. Mm -hmm. But really, they're just like not. <laughs> I don't really have too many opinions. If I Anonymous. did that, would it mean anything to you? Yeah, it's a Satanism symbol. Satanists use it. Have you ever seen anyone using it? Lots of people. Politicians, presidents, CEOs. Okay. Have you ever seen anyone local using it? Not that I remember. So yes, you do. On a total side note, I've noticed that people have seemed to like transfer some of the things that you like onto me because somebody was like, oh, this thing about like having sex with robots. Check it out, Stacy. you'll love it. And I was like, Mari's the one who wants to have sex with robots. Wait, I thought you let you wanted to have sex with robots. No. Why wouldn't you want to have sex with robots? I think it's fine that other people want that, but that's not like high on my list. I want there to be elves, damn it. Oh yeah, you like elves. I like, I like elves. robots. <laughs> I like that robots I'm like this is how I imagine it. Sexually fluid robots. And they're like, no, we can have any part you want. And I'm like, yeah. Bring me the elves and Canari. That's what I want. Stacy, did you know that somewhere hidden on the Dragon Age Inquisition disc is... <laughs> People haven't found it yet, but they admitted it's on there. A model of Iron Bull's penis. What? And that's Why so has nobody found it yet? They said it's somewhere on there because they were going to put it in the game. And they had somebody. They were gonna put a dick in it. They yeah, they were dick gonna in the game. Well, they put like like boobs and stuff. I think they were just you know being like, let's just do it. You let's know, let's just put it in there, and then people can just data mine the game files and find it. No, I think they were really gonna put it in the game, but then someone was like, you can't put a, a dragon penis in the game, and they're like, fine, <laughs> fine, ruin everything. <laughs> But somewhere What's in there, the point of even doing it then? And someone looked at the nude models and they figured out that Solus has the biggest bulge compared to his body. So. Well, he's also very, like, small. He's pretty big for an elf, actually. No, it's slender. Yeah, but. He's very slender. For an elf, he's huge. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. he's also technically, like, not a real. He's like. He's a magical being, so I bet when he ripped the worlds apart, he was like, "Hold on a second, we're gonna we're gonna choose our form, aren't we? Hold on, yeah, yeah, that's good, huge, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> uh, did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who died? You mean Liam who killed himself? Yeah. He was in my year on a different course. What course was Liam on? Can't remember, not mine. What was yours? Plant science. First time I knew about Liam was when he killed himself. Right, okay. so you didn't meet him? Mm -hmm. No. 
doesn't know much about plants, but his degree was in plant science. No, Liam's was in plant science. No, James's degree is in plant science, oh. but he claims he doesn't know about plants. Oh, right, okay. Sorry. Nope. Wrong one. Oh, sorry. Oops. Yes! Huh. So, your degree is in plant science, but you don't seem to know anything about plants. <laughs> well, still got a lot to learn. So you're still saying you've never heard of salvia? Didn't say that. So you have? Maybe. And you do grow it? Yeah, it's legal, why not? What do you do with it? I use it for explorative purposes, meditation. And Spying. does this involve anybody else? Why? Do you sell it or give it to anybody else? Sure. Yeah, it's just for me, nobody else. And that's the only drug you grow, is it? Feel free to go and look if you want. It's okay, I'll look later. So the only drug he grows? <laughs> I'm not sure I believe that, James. Then again, would someone growing illegal drugs bother growing a legal one? So what about when he says that he doesn't... Oh, okay, uses it for private use, but gives herbs to James. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. Grows salvia for private use and, and then... changes exchanges for the homebrew. Aha. <laughs> when you say herbal tea, do you mean salvia? Probably. So you traded salvia tea with Simon for his homebrew? So? So why did you say you didn't give salvia to anybody else? Because you're did a cop. Did you give it to anybody else? Oh. Gave it How to many Kate? people did you give it to? Did you give it to Kate? No. How about Liam? I didn't have anything to do with him dying, if that's what you mean. So you did give him salvia? Yes, I gave him salvia because he asked for it. But that's not what killed him. Well, he committed suicide, James, because of psychological issues that probably weren't helped by him trying hallucinogenic drugs. He didn't commit suicide. You don't know anything about him. You don't know what happened. Okay, so what happened then? Do you even know about Third Eye? Go on. You don't know about Third Eye. You don't know about Third Eye. You know nothing about Liam's death. I mean, forget salvia. Fine, tell me then. Third Eye was a cult. We had our very own psycho cult operating right here from our village hall. And I got rid of them, single-handed. I'm the one who got rid of Third Eye. Did they tell you that at the station? Okay, okay, start again. They were what? You don't know anything, do you? Look! They were reeling in students, pretending to be some sort of happy life course, you know. We can make your life better sort of crap. Oh, yeah. They were putting everyone through this brainwashing program Here's to make the them compliant mm -hmm. and selling them on. All there. What do you mean, selling them on? Selling them. Objects, commodities. To who? To anyone who could afford them. Top politicians, famous celebrities, wealthy businessmen, you name it. What for? You don't get it, do you? Third Eye were making and selling slaves. They were black market slave traders. Okay, they were well. wiping people's personalities using ECT, brainwashing, cocktails of hard drugs, deliberately turning them into perfect slaves. You know how much slaves are worth on the black market these days? No. Millions. And I'm talking per slave. That's right, why anyone who stood up to them and like... threatened to go public like Liam was just killed off. They didn't give a damn. So you're saying Liam was murdered by Third Eye? Exactly what I'm saying. So I started looking into it. <laughs> they were all saying it was suicide, but there's no way. So, did you ever actually meet Liam? I found out about him. And how did you find out about all this other stuff? Well, it's obvious, you can tell. I met some of the students. You could see straight away there was something wrong. They were like zombies. I mean, I can tell when someone's got ECT damage or when they've been through mind conditioning. It's just obvious. I mean, US military used all these techniques back in the 50s. It's all documented. You can read about it. They showed all the same signs. So, did you ever actually go to a meeting? No, but I knew what went on. How? From what people said who'd been through it. Okay, so do you know anyone I could speak to who did go through it? Well, no. Look, it doesn't matter. Why did they close down if it wasn't true? They just closed down and disappeared overnight after I put all the flyers up. 
<laughs> Bit of a coincidence. But that was just after Liam died. Yeah. And do you think that had anything to do with it? Maybe, but, but it was the flyers that forced them to close. <sighs> okay. Do you mind if I keep this? Yeah, you investigate it. It'll all come out. Third Eye definitely killed Liam. Well, that was a lot to take in. Does Hello. James really believe all this stuff? This is the first I've heard about Third Eye. Question is, what's their connection with Atlas, if there is one? I'm guessing so that... there's the symbol, which is the Third Eye, as pointed out. I'm guessing that every year they come up with, like, some sort of new... Oh, new, new organization? Because he never went to the meetings, so he wouldn't know... That the me the leader of the old one is the same guy. Yeah. So I'm thinking they come up with a new one every year, and then every time they kill someone... I don't know if the guy kills him because of some sort of weird magic shit, or if he just is like, I like to kill people, and this is how I do it. Mm-hmm. Because he says that he doesn't need the magic anymore because he has himself, so he probably thinks he's like... You know how serial killers are like, oh, I love to kill people because it makes me feel powerful? Mm hmm Like, that sometimes they say it makes them feel like a god. Like I like, am a god. Yeah, they f it makes them feel like they're a god over somebody else's life and that yeah. makes them feel powerful. So, that's just my guess. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of weird twist where mm -hmm. it's like, nope, you got duped, and I'm like, damn it! It's going to be, there. I feel like there has to be like a red herring in here somewhere. Yeah, you know? definitely. I mean, that guy, he just went on a tangent that was like, okay, so basically, all of that you're saying isn't real, though. <laughs> because why would... I just immediately, like, why would they get slaves from here if they can just get slaves from people who are actually put into slavery all the time? Mm. So, whatever. Uh... That's all for the moment. Thank you. So we need to go talk to everyone Everybody. about... Everybody about uh, slaves and uh, ask them if they have been brainwashed. Yeah. Right?